April 14th Morning Devotional The Glory of a Divine Power Every scripture inspired of God is also profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction which is in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, furnished completely unto every good work. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 God has been pleased to communicate his truth to the world by human agencies, and he himself, by his Holy Spirit, qualified men, and enabled them to do this work. He guided the mind in the selection of what to speak and what to write. The treasure was entrusted to earthen vessels, yet it is, nonetheless, from heaven. The testimony is conveyed through the imperfect expression of human language, yet it is the testimony of God, and the obedient, believing child of God beholds in it the glory of a divine power, full of grace and truth. In his word, God has committed to men the knowledge necessary for salvation. The holy scriptures are to be accepted as an authoritative, infallible revelation of his will. They are the standard of character, the revealer of doctrines, and the test of experience. Yet the fact that God has revealed his will to men through his word has not rendered needless the continued presence and guiding of the Holy Spirit. On the contrary, the Spirit was promised by our Savior, to open the word to his servants, to illuminate and apply its teachings. And since it was the Spirit of God that inspired the Bible, it is impossible that the teaching of the Spirit should ever be contrary to that of the Word. The Spirit was not given, nor can it ever be bestowed, to supersede the Bible, for the Scriptures explicitly state that the Word of God is the standard by which all teaching and experience must be tested. Says the Apostle John, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world, 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. And Isaiah declares, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. In harmony with the word of God, his spirit was to continue its work throughout the period of the gospel dispensation. During the ages while the scriptures of both the Old and the New Testament were being given, the Holy Spirit did not cease to communicate light to individual minds, apart from the revelations to be embodied in the sacred canon. The Bible itself relates how, through the Holy Spirit, men received warning, reproof, counsel and instruction in matters in no way relating to the giving of the scriptures and mention is made of prophets in different ages of whose utterances nothing is recorded in like manner after the close of the canon of the scriptures the holy spirit was still to continue its work to enlighten warn and comfort the children of god